Welcome everyone, this is Michi Hoy, this is the Simpy. Welcome guys to another episode of testing here at the Nürburgring. On a set of course, a competition getting into the car. We got some little traffic out on the track. <clears throat> we do have our setup ready. And then we can have a go. Never set in the Porsche, if I'm uh, completely honest. So gotta check how it drives. Noise. Okay, so the Birch guy's done a little bit of work there on the setup. We'll see if we can put it into good results. Personally, never driven the Porsche 911 GT3 car, so uh, quite some premiere. <laughs> Got an interesting balance on the rear end, though. Of course, tyres still not warmed up yet. Probably remember that road braking a lot more this time. Oh dear. As uh, GT3, obviously, with a rear engine, uh, probably doesn't rotate as nice as a mid engine or front engine GT3 car. So we gotta work a bit on the brakes and get absolutely used to the car. So far I'm absolutely unused to it. Classic. But so far we're still trying to get some temperatures into the tires and everything. So no biggie from my point of view. Tapping on the brakes. Hmm. Apparently, I got to do some checks here because I cannot believe. Let me see. Okay, bear with me.
Got some weird settings on uh, the settings page. Where is the chat option? Where is the chat option, please? Bear with me boys, in the meanwhile, while well, I get some back info on that, on that issue I want to call, that I do have, I can obviously do some more driving to get in climate with the car. So that there's more weight settings. Rim dim 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 dim. Uh, let's get in a lap here before hopefully being switched to the to the right setup. like being the default to a certain extent. Uh, 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 rip. Too much chatting. <clears throat> Make can see the messages. No, it's been set. Sense the wrong set there. That would be awesome. Wow, six gear sounds weird in that car. Like completely different compared to the others. I gotta say, whatever the balance is on that car, it feels it's more smooth than Yeston. Yep, Sven, we got a little bit Porsche party going on. Hey there, buddy, how you doing?
I'm doing okay there, Sven. Thank you very much for asking. Copy, bear with me. Box, 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 box. Box for new setup. I hate 50k pH pit limiter. Whoopsie. Okay, we return to garage setup. I'm sorry for that inconvenience. Load. Still doesn't want to. Or did I fuck? Uh, okay. <laughs> Something's badly wrong here. Why doesn't that work? And Jesper in the meanwhile, but you, you guys there are noobas. Watching on the big screen. Shiza. Or did I just... Ah, oh, maybe me stupid idiot. Choose the wrong car. <laughs> Rip. Sorry, that was my one. <laughs> I was in the wrong fucking car! I hate that you have more than one car version on the track. So... Set up... Fuck, it's actually preset, isn't it? Oh, F! Massive F! Bear with me. Yeah, that's when you unprepare once and ever again. Setups. Remove. Noise. Why don't you freaking work? Okay, Michi, get in there. Hey there, Jumark, let's see how you're doing, man. Load. How was my birthday party? Birthday party was good, was easy, was chilly. 96 liters. Finally. That is a better value than 62. So some could say I'm in the right car now. Get in there, Michi. Dem 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 dem. Finally, we got some practice in racing going on here. What is this pile on there on the road? The rim, dim, 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 dim. Well, I'm out of that age, but if you say so, you gotta know, right? 
actually gonna love the turning of the of the car. And now get in there, Michi. New lap. Well, I quite like the sounds of ACC. RIP! Big time loss. The rear end is still a little bit too twitchy, I think. But we'll see what we can do. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, copy, copy. I'm no sound machine. <laughs> so, Sven, how are you, buddy? Long time, no real talk. Interesting times. Corona shenanigans rising again. If I don't do at least a 56, oh dear. Well, rip. Let's see whatever invalid lap time we got here. Haha, <laughs> 57-0. Scheiße. Too goddamn slow. I hope the job is uh, doing well so far as well. Man, I mean... With a with the Aston, we did a 55-7. Right now, I'm not even getting a damn 56 on the ground. I mean, yeah, I know it's a different car, but. Where is my rear end, by the way? Yeah, but Arbeit läuft dann schon. At least some valid marker, but a low 57 again. It's not really <clears throat> what I'm looking for. That's what I'm not schlecht on. Oh, 
Right, so, turn 5, 6, 7. Getting damage balanced. Nah, no, not balanced really. Ja, es ist insgesamt ein bisschen ruhiger im Moment, aber so wie es um diese Jahreszeit auch wäre. Nichts Besonderes. Oh, for the sakes of it, the yonder stay that kicks in. As soon as one accelerates out of the turn, it's just uh, killing. Sort of, Sven, sort of. Don't forget about the wives. Answer there. She'll love it. Noise. So that brake bias change towards the front seems helping a bit. Doesn't help with bad driving though. There's nothing you can do about that really, can you? Noise, Michi, get in there. Still a tap too late on the fourth lap, I think. Now in GK Chicane. Ow. Ow. Still not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, but the fucking lap time is dead. Oh, it's small. Maybe we're just gonna get a frustrating day of testing. Sometimes the rear end just drifts nicely around and sometimes it just doesn't want to grip. Well, Jamak, let's see. Engine is in the back. From that point of view, it handles exactly like it should, but 
sometimes the understeer is just so massive. It is just unpredictable, you know. Sometimes you hit the throttle and the ass goes around, sometimes you hit the throttle and you just understeer. Which is a bit annoying. Repetoni, another lap dead. Meine Fresse, ey. Ah, you can push the coach quite a lot. Coach pushes themselves too. Copy, copy, push, push. Uh, okay, you mean that coach? So I I don't really know what it is. Now we'll see on the set. And first morn on the team. Yep. But that, that car understeers like a ferry and everything else. Are you kidding? I hope you're kidding, are you? Uh, Sven, I'm testing for tomorrow's uh, two-hour race. Two hours team race and a GTR 24 hours. Uh, right, GTR 24. 
hours, two hour race. Oh, double shift. Ah, that Porsche wants to hit the, the throttle. Yes, I know. It is a standard Porsche driving style, but... And I just can't get it up there. I mean, I've, I've seen that I can do a low 56, but I'm sort of afraid that's just gonna do it then. Target time is mid 55s, I guess. Let's say if Mikkel can do them times, I should be able to do them too. And not be a bottleneck, you know. Wow. Have you seen that fucking understeer? Time improvement, here we come. C double D, thank you very much for the follow. Do you use the dash cam? Um, I can't actually say what cam that is. It is not the cockpit helmet view. That's what I'm sure about. It's the one after that. So potentially it's the uh, uh, the dash cam, as you say. I can't tell for sure. Uh, that rear end is just. On the front end at the same time. Mikkel, 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 buddy, what did you do? Or what did I do is the other question. So, oops, uh, not replay. Turn to garage. Low save. Um, I just personally use it because I can see more out of the windscreen, but nothing else. Be right back. Just a short break.
Right. So let's try again. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, over over and understay is nice mix as uh, Altamon is just saying it. Uh, but that is the mix I highly, highly disguise. You know, it is it is oversteering when you don't need it. It's understeering when you don't need it either. If it would be the other way around, you could sort of deal with it, you know? Like, having a little bit of understeer in the beginning of the corn ring, just go in slower and then deal with the oversteer on the exit, but... You have to sort of deal with the oversteer on the entry, then catch the car, and... Once you feel like, okay, with that amount of rotation, you can go on the throttle right now and easily do the corner, suddenly the understeer kicks in and then, well, rip. Ultimate Racing, thank you very much for a tier 1 resubscription here on the Twitch channel, on the Twitch service. Thank you for your support, buddy. Enjoy the emotes. Trail braking seemingly doesn't really help to rotate the car. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Thank you. Thank you, Sven. Appreciate the hint. So, we now at 56.9. Can we fucking get into the low 56s? It's just unbelievable. Green freeze, get in there. Vex track, thank you very much for the follow on the Twitch channel. Appreciate your time, man. Thanks for the support. It's just you turn into that fucking turn, and the car wants to spin, and then you go and the throttle here, and the car wants to not turn anymore. That car though. Get in there, Michi. You missed your PB by half of a tenth. That actually shows how much potential there is still located in the lap. Get in there here and now there was the exit slide. I don't fucking get it.
Pulling to be super gently on the entry here into six. Still a little bit of a wiggle out of seven. I'm not sure if you guys get my frustration point here. I guess you do. The car has everything between understeer and oversteer in the weirdest of times. Like, you know, I can't even fucking drive consistent. Every turn feels different. Every lap feels different. Just no harmony. Yeah, if you could ever speak from harmony in a Porsche. <laughs> And we miss LPB once and ever again. Like I can do consistently low 57s, but I don't know. Mikkel can apparently do mid 55s. Put me in the S, and I'm gonna put down the 55 at some point. Three tenths of a gap due to nothing really. Jesper, I wouldn't necessarily blame the game only. In this case, I blame the car. You can blame the driver, of course, but... sliding here and the next turn you hit the throttle it just do doesn't turn I don't fucking understand this freaking Porsche Oversteers, understeers, slightly oversteers. I could do an interesting radio on that. Understeers, oversteers, understeers, oversteers. 
on the stairs. And still on the stairs. Ah, fick dich doch, man. Sorry for the language. Meine Fresse. On the stairs. Still on the stairs. On the stairs badly. Keeps on the steering, over steering. On the stairs, so mad. Yeah, F, 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 F. Halt's Maul, Alter. What do the guys say? <laughs> that team is heavily debating. Bear with me again, I just need to do some thinking. So let us have a look. What can we do with a bad driving style of mine? Maybe at some point I gotta learn it. Um, I mean, looking at the times, though, I'm not. Well, I'm off half a second from Bambilla. And then I can't fucking get a time together. Like, I can't even fucking do... I got freaking lap. Excuse the language, please. Excuse the language. Um <sighs> Bear with me.
Okay, so after some some coaching of the guys, uh, we hopefully got our thing ready. Sounds like you describe a 2020 Ferrari. Well, there is not much uh, difference to it, I think, through that. Good point. So, a different driving style, he says, is required. Gotta check if we can do it. You guys can spot the difference and see if my driving is any different on a fast lap though not on that lap yet because actually you know we need to build the understanding for it That six gear just sounds as retarded as the other one. So what can we do with a drunken Mitchie? What can we do with a drunken Mitchie? Something like that. Two tenth off the pace, get in there. Understeer, I lick me still on him. The car is so ridiculous to drive. Like, I can drive it, but I'm fucking slow with it.
Okay, mean I, I need to I need to revise on what I said about my pace. It's fucking awful. Like nothing to compare where I should be. The fucking understeer. I get mad at this car. And you know Matt Michi. Hey the Alpha String. <laughs> yelling at it always helps. I could be yelling at your ear. You sure it helps? Please get in there, turn A. Off track. Meine Fresse. Can understand the thoughts. I just can't fucking deal with the car. At least identical. No, 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 no. The steering with the right foot doesn't work the way I want it. If I'm on the brakes and if I'm turning in, the car first understeers and then. Uh, the car first oversteers and then understeers. See, that's what I mean. I hit a little bit of curbing there, it's true, but you know the overall balance. Okay, I'm gonna give. Some other things to try. I never did so much practice for one of those single races. And I never had so much trouble either. That's what I mean, the car snap oversteers and then suddenly turns into an understeering boat.
Mikkel, I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue how you can do a 55-2 in that tank. Or whatever it is. The balance to me is all over the place. It understeers and oversteers at the same time and both in the most inconvenient ways. That's the stuff, guys. It's clunk. And I really try to to implicit use the driving style as you mentioned nice get in there gravel trap copy that Okay, I need to talk to the guys in the team. I can't fucking drive that car. I have no freaking clue why. I just can't do it. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. And I freaking have no clue. gonna be nowhere tomorrow
last couple of tries to understand this box. Need to check something. I don't understand this ECU mapping. Like the engine programs. Feels just weird. Neither 1 is the optimum nor 10 is the optimum. That's what it feels like. Uh. Hmm. No hint on. Oh man, a. Eh? Okay, what happened to the car then? Is it now just that the tyres are warm or...? It's weird. Well then, I'm a weird guy. <laughs> no, that understeer, I cannot, I cannot access this understeer. All over the sudden. Entry is fine, then you have mid-turn oversteer, and once it... Just look at the throttle. Understeer kicks in and you're doomed. Hey man. You know, and then I question myself. How can I do 55-7 with even more fuel? on the Aston. It just makes no freaking sense. Apart from the fact that I think the Porsche is crap. But then we have teammate doing the same lap times than leader right now.
here. What happened? The car feels entirely different. Repatoni! There you go! Mikkel, honestly, how do you drive the fucking car so fucking fast? car just feels, a, a track feels and being in a completely different state. I don't think I just got used to the car. From now to then. Just wouldn't make any sense. But as a matter of fact, I'm going quicker for whatever reason now. Das ist doch nicht wahr. Five six. Halt, Maul, I cheated. Honestly, I don't think they anything different. I just don't. Doesn't make any sense. I have a theory. Usually I went out of the pits 
with quite low tyre pressures and tyre temperatures. What if instead of needing two or three laps to get the tyres up to speed, they were up to speed now and the tyre just drops into the mid 56s after a lap or two? Another off track. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking done with the car though. I don't know. I can somehow. Well, I could somehow extract the speed for whatever reason this time. Uh, that needs some analyzation indeed. Uh, can leave 56, 55, 6, 55, 1. I'm losing half a full tenth on the first sector. I lose everything in the first sector. I lose it everywhere. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for right now. It's going to do it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all the new followers. And once again, Sven, thank you for a tier one subscription here on the channel. Uh, tomorrow we will be live with a two hour race at this point on this stage, 1915 or 1930, depending on whether we take the queue or not. Um, we are going to be live with the two hour race at the Nürburgring in whatever car that will be we will see tomorrow but uh, yeah guys thank you so much for being here I hope you enjoyed it this is the Simpit Amit Hoya and I'll see you guys out on the track <laughs>